Well, you know Thanksgiving is just a couple of days away, and that means the travel rush to get to holiday destinations is already beginning for a lot of folks. Yep, AAA says 55 million Americans will take to the roads, rails, and skies this weekend. For those traveling by car, experts say this year is more affordable. So some good news there. Fix 11's Calorama live at Newark Airport with the very latest. Cala, good morning. Hey, good morning to you, Vanessa and Craig. And you know, 33 million of those people will be hitting the skies, traveling to grandma's house to celebrate Thanksgiving. But the question is, will weather get in their way? Today into tomorrow should be the worst. As we've heard Stacey Ann saying, it's more than just these chilly temperatures and the wind. We're expecting some wet weather that could make flooding an issue. And that means if those temperatures combined with wet weather ice up the planes, that could cause from delays and cancellations. However, there are several airlines that say they have brought in extra staff to accommodate the record breaking passengers and they are prepared to de-ice planes if they need to. On the brighter side of things for the travel uh, time, gas prices are down 70 cents from their peak and airline tickets down 13% if you were leaving early. Many more people can leave earlier because of remote work, so that's the good news. Today, Tuesday, as well as Wednesday, are expected to be the busiest of what the TSA says will be a 12-day holiday stretch. That kicked off the 17th. It wraps up November 27th. The Transportation Department is touting new traveler protections, guaranteeing hotels, meals, and free rebooking when airlines cause severe delays or cancellations. But that usually does not include weather that could add to this headache this time of year. To move through the airports more efficiently, TSA has a guide on its website covering where your food should fly. And don't try any tricks because they've seen it all. Listen. So if you can spill it, spread it, spray it, pump it, or pour it, then that item, that food item, should go into a check bag. There has been a weapon that somebody tried to conceal in either a turkey or a chicken. You can't make it up. If you're traveling with gifts or a cooked item and you are confused on whether it is liquid or a solid, when in doubt, the TSA just says, check it to stay safe. You don't want to put in all that time and effort just to have to chuck it at the gate. That's no fun for anyone this Thanksgiving. Happy traveling. We're live at New York Airport. I'm Cala Rama. PIX 11 News. <laughs> Good advice, Cala. Thank you so much. Meanwhile, New Jersey Transit is preparing for the holiday travel rush with expanded service on the bus, train, and light rail lines in order to accommodate the crowds heading to the airport tomorrow. NJ Transit is adding additional trains and buses to Newark Liberty Airport. On Thursday, the agency is expanding bus and rail service into Manhattan for the thousands <laughs> of parade goers. And on Friday, there will be bus service to malls across New Jersey for those Black Friday shoppers. Officials are also advising folks to buy their tickets online in advance to avoid long lines at ticket windows and vending machines.